Hey you guys, it's Monica and welcome back to Perry 6 Design. Today I'm going to show you how I did the tacket method on a ceramic cup. So full disclosure, this is my first time attempting the tacket method. Um, and so I'm a, I'll tell you a little later about, you know, my background in this. So pretty much I bought some of this, uh, the Aileen's, Aileen's tacket all over. I got mine on Amazon. It was like $6. Had it sent to me on Prime. And so I know a lot of videos don't ever have this part. They just say like, mix you know the glue with the water but i'm gonna go ahead and go and tell you the measurements i use i use two and a half mils of the tack it all over and i use two and a half mils of water so i made a total solution of five mils and so i got the 50 50 ideal from mr nola's glitter rachel um, i saw her video which kind of inspired me to do this video and so she said she did 50 50 she didn't say her measurements but 50 50 is a very easy <laughs> measurement to figure out you guys and the the five mils turned, and that's after I put the water in, turned out to be the perfect amount to do two layers on a ceramic cup. So you can kind of take that as your starting point. So I'm assuming if you're gonna do like a 20 ounce tumbler, I would probably mix um, double the amount. So 10 mils would get you two layers of, um, tag it all over, and you see I'm getting it all over myself. It just, I was being so impatient. I was so excited to do this. But 10 mils probably would be enough, maybe 12 just to be on the safe side, um, to do two layers like on a 20. And then of course again double it if you want to do a 30 so you know just kind of giving you some estimates but like it seems like with that just using this little bit of mounting using the water it will last for a bottle will last a very very long time and so i mixed that up and now i'm just going to clean off my surface and get ready to glitter the cup so i spray painted um just a ceramic cup from the dollar tree because again this is my first time trying it so i just spray painted it this orange and i'm going to go in with the tacket one of the errors I think that I made um, is that I, I know I let it dry long enough, but it's it seemed like it was really important to get it even where I had it. And not only to get the glue even, but also my, um, my spray paint even. And so normally, you know, I don't, if my spray paint's not even or anything and I know I'm going to cover it up with glitter, I don't, it doesn't really matter to me. But I feel like when you do the tack it, having a really good even layer of spray paint is important because like when you have like the different layers of spray paint and it's not necessarily even all the way around, I feel like you can see that through the glitter now when you do the tacking method. So that's just something to keep in mind that if you are gonna use the tacking method, make sure that your spray paint layer, just do light layers. Cause I usually just do like uh, a really good cover up on it. And like I said, I really don't care if it's like overlaps in certain places or like the coloring is different because you know, I did, you know, some extra overlap on one side as opposed to the other. But when you're doing the tacket, you really have to make sure that it's even and like one color all the way around. And you also wanna make sure your glue is even all the way around. I think that was another thing that, you know, I could have done better on. And so I am gonna try this again, you guys. So just um, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna try this on a ceramic cup, another ceramic cup, but I'm gonna do it with a different color glitter. So I don't, I know they say like, this is really good for holographics. But I used the holographic orange and I don't know, it just looks weird to me. So I wanna try just with a straight silver and see kind of how it looks um, to see if this is the method that I, I think I wanna use more in the future, especially like for my period six designs business. So again, take your time with this part. The good thing is this glue doesn't dry. So you're not like under any kind of like pressure or anything. You can really take your time using it, taking your time getting on there nice and even on whatever kind of you know, cup you're putting it on, whether it be a tumbler, a cup, water bottle, whatever it may be. That's kind of how I left mine. A lot of people also don't put this in their video, but the first layer I let dry for about 30 minutes will we'll set up. Um, so just left it alone and I left it out there for 30 minutes. Now, this is the glitter I picked. So this is just, I think it's called Pumpkin, just from Michael's, the Recollections Glitter. And so just sprinkling it on there, like, you know, kind of like you, you're, you're essentially doing everything you would do, like doing like the Mod Podge method if you were making like a glitter cup. That's all you're doing. The thing that changes is when you go to rub the glitter off. So just giving this a really good coat. And 
And doing this on a on a cup is really tricky because the handle. So, but again, testing it out on a, on a cup is a really affordable way to test. I always like to like test different glitters and any kind of techniques that I'm doing. Like when you see me do the peekaboo technique on the um on the ceramic cup for the bumblebee, it's always best to test it on these mugs. So I will dump this glitter that you see back. Oh, doesn't that look like a little bird, you guys? I didn't even notice until I was editing, but then that look like, like the Twitter bird. Just, I thought that was really cute. But that glitter, I will dump back into my jar, but the glitter that I'm about to start rubbing off will go in the trash. Because when you touch it, after you rub it, you can tell it has like glue or something in it. So I don't really suggest keeping that glitter. And I know, I know I kept hearing people say, oh, you don't want to keep this glitter. I'm just like, there's going to be nothing wrong with this glitter. But no, definitely when you like touch that glitter and you, after you do the tacking method, you will see that no, you do not want to keep that glitter and you don't want to mix it back in with other glitter. So like any glitter that initially fell off the cup is usually good. Cause again, it's like, think about it doing the Mod Podge method, you would keep that glitter. But once you start rubbing it into that tacket, you're going to want to throw that glitter away. So I'm gonna just speed it up, you guys. And honestly, like I said, you just you just take your finger. I did mine in a circular motion. I don't think the, the motion that you use matters. You just wanna make sure you're rubbing all the glitter that you can into the cup, making sure everything sticks, laid, laid flat on your cup. So yeah, I did see Rachel do this from Mr. Nola's Glitter. And I was like in awe and amazed. And I've been trying to get that tacket for like weeks into the point where I think it was Labor Day. Yeah, it was Labor Day. I actually wrote, I'm, I live in New Orleans. I rode over to their store, which is in Marrero. Um, so it's about, you know, 15, 20 minutes from me. And I rode over there and they were out of stock. And it's funny, I walked in and they had like 16, maybe not 16, but they had like five or six giant bags of orders for shipping. I'm like, this has to be people buying all the tacket because... They were all out. They were like, we're sorry, you know, we don't have no, we're gonna be getting some back like on Wednesday. So that's how I looked. I really love the way that looked, honestly. But I'm like, oh, now I'm committed to the tacking method. So 
I'm gonna just do like we did the last layer and just start rubbing it in. I was much more comfortable by the second time around because I kind of, I feel like I'd already been disappointed with the first layer. So whatever happened with the second layer was just gonna happen. If it just turned out completely horrible, you guys would have never saw this video. And if it would have turned out good, which, it, you know, it turned out pretty good. Um, I definitely, you know, figured out my room for improvement. And that's why I said, that's why I'll be doing this again for you guys. But yeah, you kind of just have to trust the process, I guess. So just keep rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. Make sure you're rubbing everything in. Using the, having the two different layers of glitter definitely gave it like a multi-dimensional look a little bit, which is kind of cool. But I was much more happier with the second layer with the darker glitter. So after it was all cleaned up and everything, this is how it looks, you guys. And again, the places where it wasn't completely 100% even, you can kind of tell because it's a little bulky right there. I don't really like that, but I know how to correct that in the future. And you guys, I'm not even going to lie. I tried to stick my decal straight onto the glitter. It doesn't work. So you will have to um, put a layer of epoxy on it to put your decal on it and then uh, epoxy it again. And so that's the final cup, you guys. So I have it shining in some really bright ass light. Um, so it's making it look a lot lighter than it is. It is that deep color you just saw in the previous video. Um, but I wanted you to be able to see the decal and it just says, it's just a bunch of hocus pocus. So I made a Halloween cup. So if you like these kind of videos, you guys, please don't forget to give them a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I would love for you to join the Period 6 Designs family. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.